All right, morning, morning. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, as I was typing in chat, would have been on an hour earlier, but the bug guy, um, wife scheduled him to come spray today, and their window for showing up was anywhere between 8 and 2. What the fuck is that? <laughs> yeah, anytime between 8 a.m. and midnight. <clears throat> anyway. We're here. We are in the NLDS against the Giants. Um, you see, we won 101 games this year. So, and the Giants won 88. They were the, somehow they were, they, they didn't get the the Dodgers in the first, well, I take that back. How did they set up that bracket? So, they had Phillies against the Giants, so the worst division against the worst. So wild card. Okay, so I get that. So then that puts them against us. So, <clears throat> but the Giants knocked off number three Philadelphia, and uh, we get to take them on right now while Arizona plays the Dodgers. So three teams from the National League West are in the NLDS. So that guarantees at least one team from the West is in the NLCS. Other half: Texas against Houston, the Battle of Texas. And Minnesota and Baltimore. So that should be fun. Um, and the way it works out for the Giants, they're not adjusting their rotation. Somehow Jordan Hicks is going to start this game. Um, so, yeah, he is their fourth best pitcher. But if you look during the year, he must have been injured because he only pitched five games and had an ERA of over eight and a half. <laughs> so he obviously didn't perform up to his uh, capabilities. Um, so we we are we gonna get Hicks then Ray? No, they're gonna go to Webb. We're gonna skip Ray. Okay, that's fine. So then we go back to the top three, and Hicks will be back here for a game five. I guess. So we only have to face Logan Webb one time, Blake Snell one time, and this is Harrison once. So if we can win this in three or four, that would be outstanding. And we've got Sonny Gray, Tanner Bybee, Walker Bueller, and Steven Matz. Um, I did not put I did not put um, Scherzer on the roster for the first for this round because we only have five games. I don't need five starting pitchers. So that allowed us to. Um, let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six. It actually allowed me to carry an extra starter here in A.J. smith Shaver since he's on the 40-man. We can use him as an extra long reliever. And I also am carrying... Um, oh, Victor Scott. If he plays at all in this series, it'll be his Major League debut. So I wanted a guy... That can play great defense, and we could use the pinch run with if we need to. Because Tommy Edmond can play all over the place, everywhere but catcher and first base. So he can shift around. Donovan can shift around. And then if we have to play Scott, he can go play center field and give us great defense and speed. So that gives us the ability to pinch run. Um, and we also have Whit Merrifield, who can play all over the place. So we got a lot of uh, defensive flexibility. So... <clears throat> Let's get in here and get this started. We are only going to play this round today, so uh, we'll play at least three games. At the most, we'll play five, and then uh, we'll see what happens. We lost last year in this round, I believe. Is that right? Yeah, we lost in the NLTS last year to uh, Braves, I believe. So, yeah, we beat the Cubs, and then we lost to the Braves, so... Braves are not in it this year, so that's good. No Cunha, no Strider, none of those guys. So if we could get uh, Arizona to somehow knock off the Dodgers, that would be awesome. Uh, guys, I want to show you something, too, for the offseason. Um, Gallon is a free agent. And there's one more guy. These two guys, um, I would love to go get one of them. Framber Valdez is a free agent. So we could replace Mats with Valdez and bring up one of our minor leaguers to be our fifth starter. 
Um, that would be a strong possibility. He's 31 and 85. What is Gallon? He's 29 and 92. So I don't want to go get both of them. Um, if I got both of them, I would trade Sonny Gray away. I don't need three guys making 25 million in my rotation. Although, <clears throat> uh, we have we have some room. We would just replace Sonny with one of the other guys, so it would even out. Um, Mats would go away, so that's half of someone's contract right there. Duvall would go away. Scherzer's going away. Merrifield's going away. Gallegos might go away. But all of our young players, look at this, they're all down here making $3 million a year. So we can afford to go spend some... Free, we're only paying seven for Bueller. So, yeah, we can go spend some money this off season. So, we'll see how this works. Anyway, let's get in, get started, get going. Day game on a Saturday against the Giants. Hicks and Gray. Let's go. <clears throat> and, you know, I, I want them to wear a black jersey. I like that. They got a black and orange hat. Yeah. Yeah, different one. Yeah, there we go. And we'll go there. Clear skies. Here we go. Hope you guys had a good weekend. Good Mother's Day. All of the, uh, all your moms and wives and stuff. I am done refing. I have no more refing until uh, July. So we're going to finish off this season. I'm going to finish all my studying so I can be, uh, get a new job as a bookkeeper. Either start my own business or go work for someone else. But I'm going to start doing books. Make some money. I may not have to ref quite as much. We'll see. I'm going to do something here. I'm going to turn on the announcers. So, um, and people have choked over the years. There we go. Great Americans. It's the San Francisco Giants about to get started here. And for the Cardinals here this afternoon, Sonny Gray. What do we have on him? Well, the hammer is in effect, and he sets it up so nicely because of the velocity on the fastball. Will elevate that and then break you off when he's ahead in the count. What I love about him, you get into the later innings. And turn them down just a touch. This one drill, right center. The ball game, and the velocity seems to go up. Oh, and two now. Gets a piece and stays alive. This is a batter who clearly performs better in day games. I don't know why, but his numbers generally back it up. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. The 0-2. Foul off the plate. They'll do it again. And the righty deals. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Wind of the pitch. Got him. Ring him up. Tried to check ah, his come on. Now it appealed to first. No swing. Gary Simmons with the call. Fights it off. We'll see another. <sighs> there we go. I'm going to throw that many pitches. I want to strike out. Long time, but it finishes with a strikeout. You can't be mad at yourself after an event like that one. Now the number two hitter, Luis Matos. This lineup does not scare me. Soler is their uh, big guy cleanup spot. The rest of these guys do not uh, give me any kind of willies at all, man. So. Jorge Soler up at the plate. Right through there for a strike. Soler, a former all-star. 33 years old, and he was born in Cuba. Two out spaces empty. And ball one. There we go. A lot of pitches, though. 15. 
Let's go down quietly. Now the Cardinals will see what they can do. They are still a little too loud. I really like what they've done with the fence line out. No score. You're watching. Bottom of the first and stepping in. For All right, Cardinals. former Cardinal Jordan Hicks, he was our closer for a while. And the pitch. And a foul ball. Left hand hitter waits. That one's in there, and it's 0 and 2. Oh, this guy's so comfortable hitting with two strikes, even a good pitch early in the at bat. If he's not ready to pull the trigger, he's not worried if he gets to an 0 2 count. And the right hander deals. Ground ball up the middle. Estrada tosses the first. And a quick out number one. And now it's Josh Naylor. And first off, mm -hmm. right front. Fouled off. All right. So just a reminder, we will play the entirety of this series in this stream today. So we're going to be here for a little bit. That's downstairs and outside. And then we'll be, if we win, we'll be back tomorrow for the NLD, uh, NLCS against Arizona or the Dodgers. Just missed. Back to back breaking pitches away, you get the feeling as a hitter that the pitcher's afraid of you, that he doesn't want to challenge you. So I think the confidence level is raised right here. The 2 1. And yeah. a foul ball. Yeah, 97 mile an hour sinker. Got to worry about that 100 mile an hour fastball. Just trying to catch that early. That was a rough one. All right, Nolan. Oh, I looked at the uh, Player of the Month awards because we didn't look at that during the regular season. Arnado won it for May, and uh, Jordan Walker won it for July. Pitch misses. Two balls, no strike. They're still a little too loud. Hold on a sec. This one driven. Deep set. He hasn't wanted to challenge him. Both of those pitches off the plate away. Don't expect anything down the heart of the plate. You may just have to be patient and take your walk here. That one is absolutely That's a deep shot to the gap. Is that going to get down? Yes. And hops over for a double. All right. All right, Nolan. Get us going. Left that a little high in the uh, strike zone. Didn't get all of it, but enough. All right, here's Nolan G. Finished with 99 RBI on the season. Just one shy. Hmm. And that one over it. I'm going to try to pull my hands in and get around on that one. Runner at second, two down. Here Everything's in down in the zone. Next one misses, and the count's even at two. Jordan Walker's on deck. Battle with a battle. The healthy cut, tough pitch at 90. Got him up. This is his 18th pitch, so make them work in the first inning just like they made us. Man, it's second. Yeah. Foul off to the just right. couldn't stay back on that one. Kicks and fires. That there we go. Three and two. Three balls, two strikes. Jordan Walker in the St. Louis on deck circle. Balls in this at bat so 10th pitch of the at bat you can see the crowd they're starting to get into it a little bit more and more each pitch even though there hasn't Ooh, been a ball barely got that one almost hit that out of the catcher's glove <laughs> about to see the 11th pitch of the at bat here there we go that's a great at bat he saw a lot of pitches and earned a walk I don't think he really wanted to pitch to him right there anyhow. 
He's got low walks per nine, so we might get a few of these today. Ooh. 100 miles an hour up and in is tough to get around on. Oh, didn't get enough of it. That's all right. We made him throw 20 pitches, so that was a good inning. Make him throw a ton of pitches, get him out of the game early. Second inning set to go. And now here is Brent Rooker. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Gray, multi-time all-star. He features a four-seam fastball, a slur, a curve, a sinker, and occasionally uses a cutter. There's the swing and a miss. The drama always heightened in the postseason, and it leads to some really special moments. That one way outside, now three and one. Well, one special postseason memory for me, Boog, was... Hawk. I am so tired of giving up home runs in this game. That was up and away fastball. He's so good at getting his arms extended, and that's exactly what he did right there. You don't typically want to pull a pitch in that part of the plate, but he doesn't allow his wrist to roll over, stays through the ball, gets the lock, and gets the home run. And that's off the inside edge. And that's ball one. Right through there for a shot. That was exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. Stays alive. Nobody on, nobody out with a run in here at the top of the second. Out to short wind. Zips it across. Plenty of time with that 13 speed running down the first baseline. Giving up the home run, not allowing it to stay in the head, but going to work at the next hitter. And a tough one at that. Blake Sable, batting with one down, takes a strike. Ground ball right side. Gorman throws on the first. Now two away. Now Matt Chapman at the plate. In the dirt. And that is ball one. Out to short. Win. Gathers. All right. That wasn't even a bad pitch that we threw to Rooker. Second, and now the right fielder, Lars Newtbar. Picks back to work. There we go. First pitch rope into right. And aboard on the leadoff single. Contreras just missed it in 300 on the season. Mm. I think we have him for three more seasons. Arnato for two more, Gray for one more. Well, that's outside. And now it's even one and one. James Kingsley working the plate. Kingsley's pretty well respected around the league. Yeah, when you talk to players, I think consistently he is one of the guys you That's double play. Estrada toss the second. How about that? <sighs> He's that's so unfortunate. Good at coming across the bag and snagging it with the bare hand. <laughs> Well, if we can get Tommy on, then uh, try and steal. Get him in scoring position for win. The pitch. That one fouled off. Whole team down a run. Bottom half of inning number two. Good job to fight that one off. And a pitch. Chopper right side. Flores. Swung in a ball. To the bag and that'll do it. Gotta be have more discipline. Back here in St. Louis, new inning getting started. Here's the shortstop at the play. Ezekiel Tova. And he'll walk. 
slice foul. Here's the 0-2. Got him swinging. Good horizontal movement on that curveball right there. And just enough to get him to chase it. Placed it just off the corner. And that's one of those where a pitcher says if he's going to miss, he's going to miss off the plate. So really good job. Great pitch for the punch out. One down, base is empty. Not close with that one. And it's 2-0. Right through there for a strike. 2-1 now. To the right side, Taylor. He'll do it himself. Go. Got good defense all the way around except Gorman. Gorman's getting better. Order turns over. Here's the second baseman, Tyro Estrada. And yeah, there's a ball. Ball one, no strike. And that's in there at the knees. And this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. Swing. Yeah, there we go. Chase that shit. One ball, two strikes. God damn, missed my mark completely and hit him with two strikes. At least we got a weak pop fly, so no harm done. Too much first pitch swinging, man, but when he put it right down the middle of the plate, what are you supposed to do? <laughs> We're going to take this one. Not getting a three pitch inning. In fact, we're going to take another one. Two down, nobody on. Nope. Just off the inside edge. Oh, he never and we're going to take another one. Never had time to. With that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. That's inside. He's got a very poor walks per nine rating. Here, look. It's at 36. So, I need to be patient. <clears throat> there we go. Two out walk. Like I said. Alright, Nolan. We had a double last time. See if we can get it over the wall this time. Little flare. Drop, 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 drop. There we go. And then at the corners. Nolan Gorman coming up. Put a pretty good jolt into that one. Great swing, nice balance and weight transfer. And he got it to drop in out there in the deep part of the field. Now here is Nolan mm. Gorman. And that one fouled off. Tried to golf that one. And that's outside. And the count is one and one. Two on, two outs. Strike on the inside corner. Here's a one-two. Didn't get enough of that. He's got it, and that is the inning. Game one of the division series. Stepping in the long ball threat, Jorge Soler. On the ground, right side, Gorman. Lead off hitter retired in the fourth. Brent Rooker, the next giant to hit. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Rooker, 30 years old now. And he's usually in the outfield. Today, he's the DH. Slice down the right side. 
You know, Boo, people don't realize how far the jog is from the dugout to the outfield position. And if you're playing in Oakland, man, it's a country mile to get out there. So for him to be able to be the DH today, that is really a nice day off. Not even close there. And the count is even two and two. Ground ball left side. And it goes just foul. Up the middle. Kyle Wynn couldn't get that ball? Come on. So they get a man aboard with a one out single. <sighs> Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself into a good count. Timing on the swing was good. Able to shoot the ball up the middle. Didn't square it up as much as he probably would have liked, but that's a good approach paying off. Puts it away for the out. And digging in for San Francisco, Blake Sable. And that one fouled off. Rooker, the runner at first with two gone. High fly ball near the pole. That one is out. Sit the fuck down. <laughs> They lead it one to nothing. <laughs> and we're back, ready to go. Bottom four. Leading off, Jordan Walker. The pitch. Good swing at the first goddamn pitch. Fires over to first. <sighs> and one gone in the fourth as they get the leadoff match. And now it's going to be Lars Nukbaum. Strike. The Cardinals trailing by a run We're here in the bottom of the fourth. And there's a foul ball. One down, base is empty. Gone! <laughs> Get up, baby! Contreras now up to the plate. 0 for 1 so far. Lars had a little bit of an off season this year too. Only had like 250 something. Swing and a miss. Chased it out of the zone. He was our worst uh, position player as far as batting average went for the whole season. Might be his worst for all production. And that was after he had a good year the year before. Down, get down, get down. Yep, that's a double. Dig. Come on, Wilson. There we go. One out man on second base in scoring position. See if Tommy Two Bags can bring him in. Tardy, very tardy. Almost took that out of the catcher's mitt. Righty delivers. Rips that one to right. Right in his tracks. Not going anywhere. Solaire is not the best defender out there either, so we can pepper that right field corner. Just can't beat that out. Hey. Lars with the tying shot to dead center field. Back 
here in St. Louis. Here's the third baseman, Matt Chapman. First oh, offering in the dirt. With all these Giants just lacking discipline at the plate in this ballgame. Chasing pitches has been a big part of the story. We've seen it quite a bit today. It's been tough for them to make contact at times. And it just doesn't look like they're seeing it very well as a group. And on the mound, you know confidence has to be pretty high with all of the swings and misses. He's had Got a him. out of the palm of his hand pretty much all game. Got him. Chapman is gone. Ezekiel Tobar now at the plate. Try to bunt his way on. On the run, throw to first. Oh, what a play. Wow. Wow. I thought there was no way he was going to get him. And now the center fielder, Santiago Espino. First pitch, and he just misses. High fly ball lifted in the air right field. All right, easy fifth. All right, let's get these bats going again. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Now the left fielder, Brendan Donovan. Picks back to work. <coughs> that one not close, and it's one and zero. You know these Cardinals doing a good job of putting the ball into play, and that makes things more challenging on the defensive side. One thing that dive and a stop at first from his backside, and very nicely done. Josh Naylor digs in now. Damn, that's gone. <laughs> Hung that shit. Four forty-seven. I think he got all of that one, Johnny. To the back of the bleachers. Holy shit. Here's Nolan Arenado. Arenado. Double the first time up, single the second time up. All three runs in this game have been scored on home runs. That's down and in. Picks. Maybe a little less aggressive on the mound right now after that home run, Chris. Yeah, it seems that way. You know, pitchers, they can come out, feel good, but then all of a sudden get touched up a little bit, and they start trying to... Oh, that might be another one. Might be another one. To the track, to the wall. Oh, right up against the fence. What a catch. Matos with the play. Ran that down. How close was he to the fence when he caught it? About three feet shy. Nolan Gorman getting ready to hit. And there's no wind at all, so we just missed it. You can see the flags right over there by Steakhouse. Two outs. And another ball. Two oh count to a guy with this much pop at the dish. Better expect him to be turning on something. It's going to either get hit hard to the full side, or the fans better look out in the stands. In the air, left field, on the move. And that's going to hang in the air and get caught. All right, well. Mr. Naylor gives us the lead. Bam, he got all of that one. All of that one. Top of the sixth inning, and here is Tyro Estrada. Here comes a pitch. Rips that one center field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one away. Next to hit, Luis Matos. Pitch misses there. And that's ball one. He's controlling things out there on the mound. Not messing around at all. He's been in attack mode since the very start. And it finds its way through for a hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch. Just shot it through the infield. To the batter now, Jorge Soler. With the tying run on at first. Four, one six, one. three. Just like that. Rally over. Pitcher made the pitch. <clears throat> and his players made the play behind him. Nice job. Back 
All right, new pitcher. What does he throw? Fastball, curve, changeup, slider. And this guy will throw the ball up in the zone, which is what I want. Throw me that high heat. Let's go. Oh, oh that that changeup was just sitting there waiting to be crushed, and I was so early. Here's a rocket out to left. Matos settles under it and makes the catch. One away. Now, Lars Nootbaar. Swing and a pop-off in foul ground. Chap snags it on the run. Hey, man, four pitches, two outs. That is an excellent pace. And now the catcher comes up to him. Wilson Contreras. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Easy five-pitch inning. Can't help him out like that. All right, we got nine outs to go. And welcome back to the ballpark. Top of inning number seven. And now it's the Giants' D8. Now this one is hammered way back there. On its way and gone. And we are tied. That was a hanger. Love to see a hitter aggressive on the first pitch of an at-bat. Belt high, curveball. That is not where you want to put that pitch. You want to start at the belt and have it drop to the ankles. And we, we hung it. Damn, glad that stayed in the park. So a two out knock keeps the inning alive. And the batter will be the shortstop, Ezekiel Tobar. Just missed. Now, your base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get in the scoring position. Two outs. Inside, ball two. Fouled off two and two. Right into the plate. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. All right. Offense has to get it up. Going again. Four solo homers in this game. We're back in a new pitcher here to and our old pitcher, Andrew Kittredge. Gets an opportunity to square off against his former team. So I wouldn't be surprised. He came out a little extra jacked up right here. Outside, up for the third time here. Watches that one miss. Oh, we just missed it. Just missed it. A little too much underneath. Mason Wynn next up for the Cardinals. First offering and it just misses. Kittredge, 35 years old. He joined the team as a free agent. Two balls, no strikes to count. Signs of movement in the Giants' bullpen. Taylor Rogers, the left-hander, is getting that big fastball of his ready to go. Rogers, a right-hander, loosening up as well. That one misses. Ball three. Flips a corner. Oh. Fuck. Look like we are just a touch out in front. One down, base is empty. Damn, tried to pull my hands in and couldn't get there. Well, that's a blue zone right there. Or <clears throat> All right, Donnie, let's go. Hit a gappa. Strike zone and a really good 
job of the pitcher executing. Try to go there as often as you right, can. It's going to be a line shot to center. All right, off to the eighth. Makes the ground. And that is the <coughs> here in St. Louis. Here's the center fielder, Santiago Espinal. A wide to kick the pitch. On the ground at first. And that one finds its way through. Off to a good start with a leadoff now. Always feels amazing getting a job done when the team needs you to come through. It's just bigger than your own individual stats. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team to bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. With the go-ahead run at first, here are the late stages of the That one missing low. He's got a rare skill set out there on the mound. Even when he's low on energy, his stuff still has bite to it. You just don't see it flatten out just because he's tired. He's still delivering good action. In the air, right field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one down. Next to hit, Luis Matos. Swing and a ground ball to the middle. That's a base hit. And All right. Time for a new pitcher. Position. One away. Now, no waiting around right there. He was ready to. <sighs> Manager out of the dugout. Chance for Jorge Soler. There's the strike of the knees. At the dish, looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Anything but the inning inning double play bird. Fall off foul. Trying to keep this a 2-2 game. And we're at the top of the eighth. He knows they don't want to give him anything to hit, but when you've got opportunities to drive and run, I'll take that. Got to expand the zone. Got the way. Going out there and doing damage with it. All right, two down. Brent Booker, the next giant to hit. This guy's homered twice already. Down downstairs. Two outs. The base runners at first and second. Next offering is in for a strike. Well, this is a higher leverage spot, and all the way that he's turned things around. He's got two outs now ahead in this count, and he can pretty much dictate what's going to happen next. In terms got him. Yes. Oh, yeah. It's okay as long as he's getting results. And right there, thrilled with the punch out to get out of it. Now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Taylor Rogers. And they felt it was time to bring on a left-handed reliever from the pen with the lefty hitter coming up. I think it's a good move. I know. I know. Right, Naylor homered earlier. Got a walk and a home run. I'll tell you right now, if he gets on base, we're going to pinch run Victor Scott. I'll bring Donovan in to play first base. Hook foul. Yeah, I tried to reach, get that out in front. All right. All right, Nolan. Two for three, almost three for three. That pitch right down the middle. He gets on, I will run for him. One down, base is empty. And that's down in the way.
one two he fouls it off we'll do it again and he deals foul ball still a one and two count pitcher having a pretty tough time getting that swing and miss third foul ball in a row Next pitch is outside. This guy's a fun guy to watch taking it back. He just battles up there. He doesn't take a pitch off at all. Makes it so difficult on the pitchers out there. You can tell they get frustrated with how no. it takes to play. No, no, fuck you. Now we'll look down to first. Yes, he did. Now he goes on strikes. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Nolan Gorman. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. Misses off the play. And it's a ball to strike. Wouldn't chase that time. One off, two and two. Two down, nobody on. And another ball. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. Hanging in there pretty good against the lefty. All right, off to the ninth. We're back. We go to the ninth. And digging in for San Francisco, Wilmer Flores swings through that one. Oh, no. That's the offering misses down and away. Trying too tight, Spot. I'm trying to, man. Two bad pitches to Rookers, the only difference in this game. There to take a rip at. He wants to get his arms extended. He likes the ball away from him a little bit. Just not able to square it up. That misses the zone. And the count is filled up. There you go. That makes up for the Arenado. Check swing. What is the deal that my shortstop cannot field a slow ground ball? This is fucking ridiculous. Defense and franchise is goddamn broken. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. What a way. Tie game. Go ahead and run. Stands at first. In the air, center field. Edmund in position. Brings it in. And there's two down. Now it's going to be Ezekiel Tovar. That's the third. Oh, nice play. The throw. Wow. They actually let Arenado make a play. I'm shocked. Proof right there of why he's a gold glover. Flash that leather around and make everybody excited. Nice job in the end. Back now as they hand the ball to a fresh arm to start the bottom of the ninth. Luke Jackson. And we all know about his slider. It's just building. We're going to get a walk off. One of the better ones in the game, I'd say. Spin rate's very high. Hold on. My, my controller did not charge overnight. So I'm having to uh, charge one while I play and hope I can get through an entire stream with them swapping out. At least this one's a little less sweaty. <laughs> Now the shadows are kicking in. It's gonna be difficult. The wind of the pitch. <clears throat> and the count one and two. Just Come on, 
Jordan. Come on, Jordan. Let's get this game over with right now. It's going to get to the wall and be a double. Oh, if he had more speed, I'd have sent him to third. That's triples alley right there in this stadium. God damn it. Wilson Contreras next up for the Cardinals one for three this one chopped to the ground but foul I can't believe I popped that pitch up the winning run on second base yep. that misses not even one and one Setting it up inside so I can pull my hands in and shoot that ball to the right side. Now I just got to drive it. And he got me on the slider. Fuck. That failed bunt is going to kill me. Leadoff double is wasted. <sighs> New arm of the mound for the Cardinals, Joe Barlow. And it takes low for ball one. Hit down the line and left. And that's a fair ball. Makes the turn. He's digging for second. And he greets the new arm from the bullpen with a double. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Just a really nice job of turning on that pitch and smoking it down the line. And there's no one playing there, so once it drops in fair, you're on your way to extra bases. Down the go-ahead runs in scoring position, so big opportunity for them to jump ahead late. Good eye in that spot. Go ahead, run in scoring position. Nobody out. Oh, come on. And a base hit. Here comes the runner. The relay throw. And he's safe at the plate as they take the lead. Three to two. At the plate, Luis Martins. Breaking ball, and that got him. New pitcher for the Cardinals, Jordan Romano. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game. Estrada, the lead runner at second. Machos at first with no outs. Newt Farr moves under it, nabs it, runner tags at second. He is. Mm. Now we'll see if moving up to third there pays off for him. He didn't have to tag and go, but now he can score a lot of different ways. Doesn't have to be a base hit. We'll see what happens. Swing and a foul straight back. In the infield at the corners, don't be surprised to see them come home first and prevent that run from scoring. Got him looking, that's a strike. And now it's Wilmer Flores. That one finds the zone. Four one. Big swing and a miss. Two pretty nasty sliders to get this hitter in an 0-2 count. 
you're up there at the plate, you got to look up in the zone and spit on anything that's down. Meatball makes a nice running pass. And they pick up one run on the RBI single. Welcome back. And here comes the closer, Camilo Doval. Save opportunity now, for him right here. And he's their guy. Number Time to lock this one down and get out of here with the W. And that one is lifted in the air. Calls it in. And there's one away. Well, such a confidence boost for a reliever to come into the ball game and get the first hitter he faces. Just makes everything slow down a little bit, and then from there can really settle in. Donovan at the plate now. That's ball one. Good chase that time. Well, an interesting situation. One swing, you can tie up the ball game. But if you're patient and work a walk, then you bring the game-winning run to the plate. And fouled off. One down, base is empty. That's Just awesome. missed. Yeah. Oh. Uh, triple digits on the gun. I know there are more pitchers. Jabba, I 100% agree. But it's still there we go. I'll take that. Should have never given Marmol an extension. And this is why we put Victor Scott on the playoff roster. Exactly. Plus, he's an arrogant little fuck. I can't stand him. Bottom of the zone and a cold strike. Nasty 2 0 slider there. Guy was a career 230 hitter in the minors, and he's trying to tell major leaguers what to do. Oh. I'm sending Scott right now. 2 and 2. We're going. Runner on the goal again. Swing and a miss. Man, that's ball game. I had to make contact on that play. That's all right. Can't give up two home runs to Rooker. I gave up ten hits. And Barlow did nothing. All right, so now we got to win three out of the next four. And the Dodgers won game one. Now we get a lefty. Which doesn't bother us because Gorman and Naylor both hit lefties really well. Tommy Edmond flipping around. He hits lefties way better than righties. Slide Donovan down to the bottom of the order. Speed differential between the fastball and the changeup is huge. Hitters, they have a hard time staying back. Ready to go now. And taking in for San Francisco, Harrison Bader. Harrison Bader. That looks familiar. Luis Matos will hit next. a good eye there. Next offering upstairs. Yeah, if then. They may not get rid of anybody until later. I want to know who we're getting in the draft. Are we going to get a power pitcher or are we going to get a hitter? Give me the fucking ball. The play was not going to help him out by swinging at something out of the zone. 
And a foul ball. Pitch. That one misses. And the count two and one. Machos leads off first with one away. That was a changeup. God damn. When have you ever seen me give up this many home runs on Legend? I didn't realize Jordan Walker's playing right field. And on the mound in this one, Robbie Ray. What's the scouting report on him? Anytime you have five ah. pitches to work with on the mound, that right down the middle. can be a real weapon in terms of keeping hitters off balance. <sighs> it's one of those things that I'm going to be looking for in this one. Does he have a feel for all of those pitches, or is he just able to get one or two over in the strike zone where he wants? Now, it's tough to do to be able to command all those pitches, but if he can, he is going to be very tough for the opponent today. Way high there. Okay. And the count is 2 0. Oh. The Giants leading by two here in game two of the NLDS. Just missed. Just a few pitches in, but not very sharp on the mound in the home half of the first. But when you can score some runs for your pitcher in that first inning, you really want him to come out and shut that other team down so you guys can get back in the dugout and swing the bats. So you've obviously got some hot sticks in the early part of this one. Two outs, base is empty. Now it's the right fielder, Jordan Walker. He swings and fouls. Yeah, stop swinging that shit over my head. To the right yeah. side. Yeah. Sends it to first, and it's a 1 2 3 inning. The Redbirds down quietly. They trail things here 2 0. Santiago Espinal leading things off and takes the strike to third and foul ball let's talk about great individual postseasons oh, almost got him man when I think about great postseason performances hard to top Carlos hey. Belcher in 2004 eight homers and six steals in 12 games with the Houston Astros he didn't even get to play in the World Series that year Patrick Bailey stands in now, looks at that one inside. Up the middle, win. Over to first, two up, two down in the top of the second. Now at the plate, David Vr. Right through there for a strike. No ball, one strike. That one finds the zone, and it's nothing in two. Two outs, space is empty. Right. All right, that was better. And a nice inning of work there as he sets him down. One, two, three. So they make short work. All right. Now to the bottom of the second. It's the uh, Got to get the sticks the going. Back here in St. Louis, bottom half of inning number two. Here's the Cardinal DH, Nolan Gorman. And there's a foul ball. Now the one. Bounced up the middle. Espinal. To first. One up, one down. Here's Nolan Arenado. And there's a rocket into the outfield. At least he's hitting in the playoffs. Around first and hustling for second. And he's in with a stand-up double. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out flying. Lipped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. Adam Duvall at the play. Oh. In the air, pretty deep out to center field. Bader should have it. He's too slow to run. They got it for out number two. 
Fell off to a great start. He's really cruising out there on the mound. He's got a chance to get through these first two innings with under 20 pitches. That could set him up to go deep into this game. Wilson no. Contreras oh. in the box here. Let's that one go for a ball. Out to short. Espinal whips it across, and that's the inning. The cart. And welcome back to the ballpark. And now Bader up to the plate. There's a strike. Bader, a former Gold Glove winner, 30 years old now. And he was a third-round pick back in 2015. Just missed. Two-two down. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. The two-two. This is inside. Outside, Ooh. and that is ball four. Well, a great back and forth, and that at bat. He had to play off some really close pitches, and somehow, Boog, he found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. Next offering is in for a strike. Boog, the runner at first needs to be careful right here. He's dealing with the pickoff artist on the mound. That one missing low. Bader runs. And that one in the air center field. Edmund in position. Corrals it. And there's one away. Austin Slater stands in. That clips the zone. And it's 0 and 1. And ball one. Bader leads off first with 1 1. There's a strike. Gets a piece and stays alive. Pitch. Maybe a two ball. Five, four, three. Yes. And they can pull that slider that's on the outside edge and roll over it. We move on to the bottom of inning number three. Set for the bottom of the third. Now it's the second baseman, Brendan Donovan. Damn, huh? Uh. VR gets under it. Falls it in for the out. That was a good pitch to hit right down in front of the plate. Had pretty good timing on it. Just got underneath it a little bit and popped it up. Mason Wynn now at the plate. And that's outside. One and it's his walks. 60. Home runs 40-something. We ought to be able to take this guy deep. And now the lefty. And I just spoke it into existence, boys. <laughs> Calling shots today. Thank you very much. That was a laser. Bam. That didn't get very high, did it? Just absolutely fun. 112 miles per hour on the exit velo. And like you said, no doubt about that one. Plenty of launch angle to give it that backspin as well. And that carried way over the wall. One down, base is empty. Fly ball to right. In position. And puts the squeeze on that one. And there are two outs. And now... It's Josh Naylor. It's a good recovery, though, after giving up the home run. I'll take that little flare. Thank you. Dink and dunk. Come on, Jaywalk. Let's go. Ah, it's out. Hey, I got one back, though. Can't complain. Cannot complain. The Mason wins taking you deep. Here's a cleanup hitter for the Giants, Brent Rooker, and it's caught for the out. Now it's the Giants catcher, Blake Sable. 
It's never fun going back to the dugout after hitting a line drive that finds a glove, but you will get some high fives. You know, when you make great contact, you feel foul. Like you've done get foul. Get foul. Right. Thank but you. In this game of baseball, not everything is in your control. Just missed. Good slider down and in can be so hard to get on plane with. You're better off taking that pitch. This to center field. Edmund in position. He's got it. And there's two away. And here is Matt Chapman. Got a good eye there. Two down, nobody on. Here in game two. Slice to right. Gets down, base hit. Oh, we should not have Walker in the outfield. I'm gonna have to adjust my. Uh, I'm gonna have to adjust my lineup against lefties. Just leave him at DH. How's that not a swing? In the air, out towards left center, base hit. Relay throw to third. Not at time. He's safe. Back to back singles. That ball right there landed in what they call the no man's land, meaning Whoa. it's not really a spot on the field where you can expect anyone to get to it easily. I mean, it's a tough play going back for the shortstop, but also for the outfielders trying to come in. They've got to go a long way as well. And that one flips the court. Oh, come on. What kind of swing was that? It was two feet inside. He bloops it into the left field for a run. That one probably had no business ended up as a base hit, but he got just enough of it to muscle it to the outfield. That pitch was well in off the plate. A tough one to handle, but he gets rewarded. The Giants trying to break this one open. Top of number four. Goes down looking. So one run in the inning on this base hit. Bottom of the fourth. So now here's the Cardinals designated hitter, Nolan Gorman. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. You know, these cards, to put it bluntly, need to put together more competitive at bats. And I don't think they've lived up to their own expectations at the play. I think things are happening a little quicker than this offense would like. And we see it in the numbers. They're hitting into a lot of outs early in the at bat. Here's Nolan Arenado. Base is empty. To the right side. And that should be extra bases. Around first, heading for two. The throw into second. Not going to get him. He's in there. Well, Singy, he is locked in there. Well, he's really slowed the game down. And it's like he's moving in full speed and everybody is a step or two behind. The way that he squared up that baseball tells me that he is seeing it like a beach ball. Duvall at it for the second time, and that's strike one. Wilson Contreras ripped on a line to center. God. Brings it in with a nice run. How's that ball not drop? Brendan Donovan, the next to hit. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Base is empty, two away, but two runs are in. And we're here in the bottom of the fourth. And the slider just misses. Top of the zone, and it's called a strike. That one missed. He hasn't fallen behind in the count like this all day. He's in danger of walking his first batter right here. And he walked him. Corner, ball four. 
It's been a little bit of a shaky inning, but he's still in a good spot to get out of this thing without giving up any more runs. He's just got to turn the page and go after this next guy. Digging in, Mason Wynn. Oh, we just missed it. Fuck. It was early. Two runs for St. Louis on this flats. We're tied now with three apiece. This is the National League Division Series on the show. Let's go, let's go. We go to the top of the fifth, and now the center fielder, Harrison Bader. Line to second, snagged on the bounce. Whips it to first. And the lead offense set down in their half of the fifth. Matos in the box again, takes the strike. This one lifted in the air, left field. And that's a fair ball. Now he turns and heads for second. The relay. Got him. And up next for San Francisco, Austin Slater. And that one is inside. Flips the corner and the count one and one. And a foul ball. Two outs. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Here's a one-two. And a foul ball. He stays alive. And the righty deals. And down on strikes he goes. And good work there. Back here in St. Louis. And here comes Tommy Edmond. In the God, I can quit popping the ball up with him. Peter should have it. And he makes the catch. One down. Here's Josh Naylor. One for two. Line and caught at third by Chapman. The Gold Glover makes the play. Jordan Walker next up for the Cardinals. That one finds the zone. And that's strike one. Bounce to the left side. And it goes just foul. All tied up. Last half of an inning, number five. Now Got into my kitchen there. That was a tough pitch, man. Ate me up. One. And the inning is over. And down in. All set for the top of the sixth. And now, Brent Rooker. First pitch misses. Rooker, a former All-Star. 30 years old now. He's usually in right field, but today he's getting the DH treatment. Up and in. Now two balls and a strike. Well, a nice day off for him. Not having to jog out to the outfield. Gets to be in the DH spot. Be curious to see how he keeps himself in a rhythm, not playing defense. Two-two now. Fly ball, center field. That one gets down for a hit. So a man on base. Couldn't find a player that could even come remotely close to that. That was that was perfectly placed. Outfield was playing so deep. Infield couldn't get back. Yeah, take one on the play. Too slow to get a double play. Zone these days, that's a devastating combination. And on second, two down. And downstairs. Strike. There we go. And he went around just enough that time. One and two now. Hard hit. Tosses the first. That is. All right. Let's go, boys. Nolan Gorman. Ray back to work. Way inside. 
You know, these Cardinals, digging into their numbers, have to be happy with the swings they're taking. They've hit seven line drives already, and even though some of them have been for outs, there's nothing wrong with delivering consistent, hard contact. That's almost always going to lead to positive results. On the ground, right side. The flip to the pitcher cover. And that's one out as they get the leadoff hitter in the sixth. And here is Nolan Arenado. Foul ball there. Kicks and deals. Fought off foul. Base is empty one away here in the bottom of the sixth. Oh, get short. on top of that one. Two up, two down. And up next for St. Louis, Adam Duvall. Oh, that was quick. A second in plenty of time. The first three up, three down. Right. We go to the top of the seventh and digging in for San Francisco, Patrick Bailey. No, Ball the one there. Comes up empty. That's strike two. And another ball. Swing and a miss. But the leadoff hitter set down to open the seventh. Chris, as we look back at the pitch sequence, he hadn't seen that curveball at all. How tough is it to adjust to something like that? with a bunch of break when you haven't had a look at it yet. Yeah, I mean, you're dialed up for something firm. You never want to take a... That's at least four balls hit through that exact same spot. be a little anxious before you recognize the pitch. And right there, clearly didn't see what was coming. There goes the runner. Line drive. Drops into the glove. And there's two down. And up next for the Giants, Luis Montes. Breaking ball inside. And that is ball one. Right through there for a strike. Two gone. The possible go-ahead run at first. Just God missed. damn. This is a really good feeling for a hitter. At this point in the ball game, you know that they don't want to walk you. So you're going to get a pitch to hit. Just better not miss it. On the ground is short. Win. Fires across the diamond. All right, he's done. <clears throat> We're back in a new picture here to start the bottom of the seventh. Tyler Rogers. Now, Wilson Contreras now up to the plate. That one down the line. And that's just foul. And the pitch. This is inside. And now it's even one and one. Signs of movement in the Giants' bullpen. Tristan Beck appears to be getting loose. And the right-hander deals. Now, one gone here. Couldn't hold up. Brendan Donovan. Next up for the Cardinals. <laughs> I swung like three feet over that one. All tied up here in the late stages of game two. There you go. <clears throat> Not pinch running right now. But he didn't spin off of it. That's the key. You still have to extend through the baseball in order to hit a line drive like that. And now left field. Fair ball! Oh, oh, oh. oh, ground rule double. Save them a run. That doesn't hop over the fence. That's a run. Come on, Tommy. Gotta get this ball in the air out of the infield. Situation and he's got to make sure he gets the ball out over the plate and get those arms extended. They're trying to crowd him with the infield in. Like that. Now a high fly ball out to left center. 
makes the grab. Runners tag up from second and third. The throw is off the line, and he's in the score. It's 4-3. Josh Naylor now at the plate. One for three. And the clutch kicks in, and we get a fifth run. There we go. And they take a two-run lead. Comes through with the RBI. Tying on the swing was good. Able to shoot. All right, Walker's coming out of the game after this at-bat. We're going to put Newt Bar in there so we have better defense. Stepping in, Jordan Walker. Although I could shift him to left. Two outs. So I can keep his bat in the lineup. Kicks and fires. Would chase that time. I might do that. I might take Duvall out, even though he homered. Swing and a miss. Slider got him for move Walker to left. In comes JoJo. These are the spots relievers really make a name for themselves. Late and close. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. Arenado to first. In time. Leadoff man is out here in the eighth. Dives, but it kicks off his glove. Not in time. Great effort, but it's an infield hit. First, Blake Sable will hit next. That's down and in. Now, these guys definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you can find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like really important. Unbelievable. God damn this fucking game. How many home runs are we going to give up? It can be pretty dangerous when you fall behind in the count 2 0. You still got to try to find a way to keep that hitter off balance. Well, he wasn't able to do it there. The hitter did a nice How many times did you see me give up this many home runs last year playing this game on the same difficulty? Santiago Espino getting ready to hit. First pitch just misses. I'm not even playing it course. Two down, nobody on. That one hooked foul. And a pitch. Switch to that one. It's a strikeout. Ah, when the Giants go deep, it's bye-bye, baby. Back now, now new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth. Taylor Rogers. Bringing in the lefty with the left-handed hitter coming up to hit. Classic bullpen move right here, so we'll see how it works out. And that one fouled off. Left hand hitter waits. And it's quickly nothing in two on the designated hitter. Battling here as he fouls it away. Swung under it. Jesus. Let's move the camera, see if we can get some good luck out of that. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Base is empty one away for the bottom half of the eighth inning. And another ball will have been able to slow down the game tonight with his at-bats. And the biggest one he's had so far, he doesn't look anxious at all. One down, base is empty. In the air to left, down the line. Slater in pursuit. No trouble here, puts it away for the out. 
That's out number two. Lars Newtball next up for the Cardinals. Swings through that one for strike one. Lars homered in game one, so he's got the power. One that's in the dirt. Two outs. Nah. Way misses. over that. And, and, and the whiff. They really need to hang in there with that front side against this left-handed breaking ball. A swing and a miss. Struck him out. And it's a three-up. Back here at Bush Stadium. And now the first baseman, Patrick Bailey. Oh. That one off the mark. And it's one and oh. In there for a strike at the bottom of the zone. And a pitch. And a count one and two. The pitch. That one just misses. And a pitch. Ripped into left for a base hit. A leadoff single and the go-ahead run is a bull. A perfect example right there. That plate discipline. Number 49. On the outside corner, that's strike one. In the year, right field. Makes the catch, it was one goal. Well, such a confidence boost for a reliever to come into the ball game and get the first hitter he faces. Just makes everything slow down a little bit and then from there can really settle in. And it gets down for a base hit. Just kind of sliced that one into center. Well, that at bat had a lot of pressure riding on it, so really great job coming through right there. It's going to feel good. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. Ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity. Right on top. A lot riding on this next at bat now as they look to take the lead at a critical point. This oh, one. come on! Situations like these, the air can get really thin up there. Swing, and this one's blasted. It's got a chance. It's gone. Bam. It just got out of here. The pitch was low and away. Give me a fucking break. Have the lead now. It's 9-5. Chris, he's homered in back-to-back -back games now. Yep, seeing the ball well, and he's got his timing locked in. He's looking pretty dangerous at the dish right now. Man, he just barely got that one out of here, and you've got to love the effort and left to try and bring it back. And look out. That one gets him. The second man he's plunked in this one. New arm of the mound for the now, Cardinals, Zach Thompson. And they felt it was time to bring on a left-handed reliever from the pin with the lefty hitter coming up. I think it's a good move. I know I never liked when opposing team did that to me. Foul ball. Left hand batter waits. Nice stop. Slings to second. Double play. What a great killing to end the inning. Bye bye. Fucking baby. bullshit. Grand slam for the Giants. It's now 9 5. This is fucking bullshit. So remaining in the game defensively, Tyro has struck. He entered the game to pinch hit, and now man second base. Out towards left center. Pulls up on it, and that's a base hit. Next to hit, Brendan Donovan. Pitch misses inside. Ball one. 
Well, the leadoff man gets on. You want to minimize the threat by playing sound defense. Hopefully the pitcher can get a ball on the ground and they can roll him up for two. <laughs> Fucking vacuum over there at first base. He's a goddamn catcher. That's one of the toughest double plays to turn on the infield. The first baseman has to get inside, create a throwing lane to hit that middle infielder to start the double play, and then from there completing it back to first. Really good job all the way around. Here comes a pitch. Foul ball. This could end it. In the air on the infield. Chap under it. He's got a ball game. And the Giants slug their way to a win in this one. Everybody's up to nothing. St. Louis, Brendan Donovan. As he turns on the rubber and with that good live arm delivers. Now a screamer into the outfield. Everything's caught. Puts it away, one away. That shit should have been down and to the wall. There's a strike. One out, base is empty. outside one ball one strike on the ground right oh. side and foul ball he's dealing with a great two strike hitter right here the strikeout is not automatic and that's down it away two two Sufficient start to the afternoon. That's two out. Here's Nolan Arenado. And first offering is fouled off. And here it comes. Swing and a pop up. Foul out of play off to the right side. That'll find the stands. Pitch. Got him swinging. Nothing doing there for St. Louis. And now we'll see what the Giants can do. No score. You're watching the Nash. Tyro Estrada to the plate. And he deals. Bounced out to short. Win. On to first. Out. One up, one down. Austin Slater stands in. This one popped up, middle of the infield. Settles under it. He makes the grab, and there's two down. Two outs, base is empty. Jorge Soler up at the plate. That's a strike. One one. And that's in for a strike. Well, he didn't like those first two pitches. Now in an 0-2 hole, he's going to have to battle. Hope he gets a mistake. And down on strikes. Giants go in order. Giants go. Back here at Oracle Park. Top of the second. Now up the Cardinals number four hitter, Nolan Gorman. Oh. And there's a the ball. This park is absolutely electric for this game. Such a great postseason atmosphere. That's 
tripped, and this one could be extra bases. Now he'll turn for second. And he's got a leadoff double. <clears throat> too slow for a triple. Perfect spot for a triple, but he's too slow. Any vibration in your hands whatsoever, such a good feeling. When you connect and it jumps off your bat like that, you're thinking double at the very least. Put a great swing on it, and man, he wasn't fooled at all. Runner in scoring position now, and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. The 0 1. No. Just missed. Nothing like the drama you get in the postseason, dude. Love being a part of these games. Swings and misses along down below the zone. One, two. And it's second. Fouls it off, still one and two. Righty delivers. Out to short. Cobra. Slings to first. One out and second. And now the right fielder, Lars Newtball. Jansen one doing home plate duties in this one. Got a huge strike zone from Jansen, so he can't really be called a pitcher's umpire, but he does like the bottom part of the strike zone. We may see some pitchers steal a few strikes down there, Whoa. especially the ones right below the Two knees. Balls. That's if their strike. catcher can present it properly. The pitch. Slice the other way. That's a base hit. Coming home. He scores and they have the lead. One nothing. Well done. Drives in the run. I really like the approach to that swing. That was a good change up on the corner, but he recognized it early, did get jumpy, and just smacked it to the opposite field. Wilson Contreras. The next to hit takes outside. Swing and a miss. This guy's got such a good sinker as a hitter. You've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. Right-hander kicks, deals. Pitch misses there, and it's 2-1. and one. Two, one. That one hammered center field. Bader going back. Brings it in at the wall. Tommy Edmond at the plate. Two outs. He swings and fouls one off. The pitch. And they'll do it again. One run across in the frame so far here in game three of the NLDS. Ball one. In the dirt, blocked. No advance. Good job behind the dish. We still got his pitch count up to 30 now. Only the second inning. And that one is lifted in the air. And it falls. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on. And two out. <coughs> Let's go. It's amazing to me that he was able to put the barrel on that one. I mean, that pitch was pretty well outside, but great extension and bat control through the zone allowed him to drive it. Out towards right center field. Bader racing after it. Won't bring this one in. 
Death by a thousand cuts. It's payback for all those fucking home runs we've been giving up. I'm not sure if that was a factor there or not, but off the bat, you're thinking it's going to be a pop out, and it just kind of nestled in. That's a base hit, run scores. So I actually can score without hitting home runs. So up next. Josh bomb here would be nice, though. One, he struck out swinging last time. And a foul ball left side. The Cards trying to break this one open here in game three. Now fly ball to right center. Soler gets under it. Brings it in. And that is that. They strike for three runs on five hits. Back here in San Francisco, ready to go for the last half of the inning. And now the DH, Brent Rooker. Ball. ball one, no strikes. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. Wilmer Flores in the box now. No, no balls ball. and a strike. One strike. Ball. Going to 95, missed up top, and that's ball one. The 1-1 one, one is fouled off. Righty to the plate. Swings and misses, struck him out. He's really good hitting the baseball the other way. That so credit it. the pitcher for having him out in front of that pitch. Clearly he had him fooled. Blake Sable. Now at the plate as he swings through strike one. The Redbirds leading by three. Bottom half of inning number two. And now the count is even. Wouldn't chase that time. Skipper's looking for him to give him a little bit of length, see if he can save the bullpen some. Ball. That misses. One and one. Ball. And another ball. Two balls. One strike. A wind of the pitch. That one fouled off. Two and two. And the righty deal. Swing and a pop-up. Makes the catch for the out. Boy, that was a hanging, breaking ball right there. I think he tried to do a little bit too much. Sometimes those eyes can get really big. I think yeah. his swing broke down as well, and that's what oh. caused him to pop it up. Gorman swings through that one as he comes to the plate for the second time today. Oh. Now one and one. One, one. One down, base is empty. That's the ball. Looks like he's being a little cautious with him in this at bat after doubling the first time up. Doesn't want to make another mistake. Swings through that one out front Two that ball. time. He normally does damage on that pitch in that location. Just a swing and a miss there. I don't think you want to throw it again, though. It's a strikeout. Two down. Two outs, base is empty. Here's the Cardinal DH. Jordan Walker grounded out his first time. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. Walker, 22 years old. And though usually in left field today, he's the designated hitter. Swing happy. Got to quit swinging at shit. The wind of the pitch. Down to the dirt, swing and a miss. And it's in time for the third out, so that'll end the inning. Nothing doing here this 
half. We head now to the home half of inning number three. And we're back. And now it's going to be Matt Chapman. And first offering is fouled off. Chapman gets a piece there. The wind of the pitch. That one 95 to finish him off. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher are on the same page right now. That's your shot. And now the shortstop is Ezekiel Tovar. And first offering is fouled off. The pitch. Popped up. Naylor gets under it. Out number two. Batting none. Here's the veteran outfielder, Harrison Bader. Bader right through there for a strike. The Cardinals leading by three here in the last half of the third. Strike on the outside. And the count is 0-2. Ball. Two strikes. Ball one there. Two down, nobody on. Ball two. Fights it off, you'll see another. Here's a 2 2. Gets a piece there, we'll do it again. He hasn't gotten the result yet, but he's got to feel pretty confident. Three foul balls in a row, he's right on this pitcher. Donovan has a beat on it and makes the grab. All right, Walker. Third game of the division series. And now Lars Nukbar. Swinging a foul over the screen and back out of play. You know, these cards did a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way. And I'm seeing very patient at bats out of them. It's not just the three runs they've already scored. On top of that, they forced this starter to throw more pitches than he wanted to at this point of the game. And up to hit is Wilson Contreras. 0 for 1 with a fly out to center. That one is absolutely belted. You can Gone off the, off the foul pole. efficiency right there didn't need much time in the box to make an impact well he really crushed that thing down the line and everyone had to hold their breath until it clanked off the pole and every time that happens it just kind of feels like a trick shot or something but really it's just a stroke of luck that it stays fair long enough now Tommy Edmund lifted in the air right center field squeezes it and there's one away so digging in Mason wins That's in there. Strike one. Two runs across in the inning. Top half of inning number four. Way one outside, one. and it's one and one. Clearly, he hasn't had it in this game, and looks like sooner than later, they're going to have to go to the bullpen. On the ground to third. The throw to first. He's out. Got the out. That's what a good sinker's designed to do. Get a guy to roll over a little bit, hit the ball on the ground, kill some worms while you're at it. And now here is Brendan Donovan. And first offering is fouled off. Two outs. One, Not one. close with that one. And that's ball one. The one one is fouled off. Two outs, base is empty. Up the middle, loves it on the dive, to his knee, the throw, and they get the out. Making it look easy. Amazing how many plays the CPU makes that we don't get to. Back here at Oracle Park, and here is Tyro Estrada. First pitch doesn't find the zone.
first foul. Kicks and fires. Got him looking. Called strike three and a fastball up in the zone. Austin Slater, the next giant to hit. First no, offering outside. and it just misses. That one at the knees for a strike. One ball, one strike. And it's fouled away. Swing and a ball popped up. Arenado under it. And there are two down. And up next for San Francisco, Jorge Soler. And the pitch a little bit low. Ball one. The Giants hitless so far in the game. That one a little bit high, and it's two and one. His eyes got big. He saw that changeup way out in front. Better to pull it than to get jammed on something off speed like that. It's in and out of his glove, but they get the out at first, and that'll do it. Right. Through four. In order. Still looking at that five nothing deficit. We're back, and there's a new arm on the mound to start the fifth. Joe Whitman. Still pretty early in the ball game, so this bullpen has some work ahead of him. Ah. Take some pitches and see what he has. Quick outs kind of bridge the gap that started left on. Tobar makes the play, and a quick out number one. Here's Nolan Arenado. Yeah, they swing at the first two pitches after saying that. The lefty fires. Good eye right there. Action in the San Francisco bullpen. Tristan Beck getting ready to go. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Kicks and deals. And another ball. Boils a two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. Next offering upstairs. Base is empty one away. We're at the top of the fifth. Well, he's desperately looking for that swing and miss. He's going to have to just change speeds a little bit, try to move it around, create just a little bit of illusion at the end. Good ball plate four. appearance there. Able to take the walk. It wasn't easy, but he earned that walk after a long at bat. So, man aboard. Nolan Gorman next up for the Cardinals. First pitch misses. Arenado over at first with one away. Popped Damn. Up to the left Jammed me. The ground. And there's two away. Up oh, next to the card. The designated hit. And at first, Jordan Walker next up for the Cardinals. Worm burner into the outfield for a knock. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. Lars Newtbar next up for the Cardinals. All right, he's got two, two singles off, two change-ups from Webb. Let's see what this guy throws in. Misses badly for ball one. A little flare over there and hit a ground ball up the middle. Nope. <clears throat> up here. Up here. High and in. Come on, you know you want to throw that. Ah! Too much inside. Straight 
grand a couple, but they hold a 5-0 lead. Rooker no. takes a ball as he stands in for the second time. All these Giants, they're not going to be happy with the at-bats they've been having oh. so far. They're in the back half of the game, and they're still searching for a base runner. He's been great out there on the mound, no doubt, but it's also been a disappointing Drive. performance at the plate to this point. Two, one. And a pitch. And Offer. as we get deeper, it's not going to get any easier. These at-bats are going to feel more and more desperate with every out the rest of the way. That one fouled off. right-hander deals foul ball and it remains a full count payoff pitch got him yes and that's the first out now and now it's Wilmer Flores Good strike right there and now it's even up Hit in the air, right field. Should have this one. Calls it in, and there's two away. Two out, space is empty. Now it's the Giants catcher, Blake Saber. And a good fastball to start him off. That's strike one. This is the zone, and he gets him to chase. Now this offense has just been locked down. Almost five full innings of shutout baseball. Not one, even two. close there. Now one and two. Two down, nobody on. Last half of inning number five. Good job to fight that one off. On the ground, right side. Tosses we are through five, boys. We are through five. Twelve to go. Giants are down one, two, three. It's five nothing. <laughs> Twelve to go. Top six. And the batter now, Wilson Contreras. Fouled off left side. You know, these Cardinals doing a good job of simply getting the bat on the ball in this game, and the numbers back that up. They've done a great job finding holes in the defense. Exactly half of their hits have come off the bat less than 90 miles per hour. So the ball isn't exactly jumping off the lumber, but they're finding a way to make it work. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. Out to short. <laughs> Zips it to first. Yeah. Well, one down. Oh, we talked about how the ball is coming out of the pitcher's hand. The way it comes out of his hand as an infielder. Wow, really important. Oh, Tommy got all of that one. <laughs> This is in the air down the line. And that will drop foul. In the air, left field. Slater sizing this one up. And this two away. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go oh. up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left pitch ball inside liner and that should be extra bases makes the turn and heads for second in safely it's a double and his second hit everything came together for him high 
fastball even a little above the zone but such a good job of staying tall on the backside getting that barrel there to meet it just in time I'll tell you what it's not easy to do ground ball, ball right side and it goes just foul and a pitch and he grounds one to the right side the strike gathers and throws the first all right that let's go the inning, and they limit the damage but the solo shot stretches their lead even further. It's now a 6-0 ball game. Back here in San Francisco, here's the third baseman, Matt Chapman. With oh. Chase that time. Clearly down in this ball game, and you can't look at the deficit and try to get it all back in one swing. It's got to come one at bat at a time and even shrink it down smaller, pitch to pitch. Make that guy on the mound work to get you out. Oh, and there goes the perfect game. God damn it. Hitting is really easy for some guys. One thing that I can see already is bat stays in the zone on plane for an extended period of time. And guys like that, they have a high contact rate and they have more barrels because of that bat being on plane. And even when you don't get it great, it's still <coughs> hard enough to dunk something in like that in front of the center fielder. He's got it, and there's one down. Here's the center fielder, Harrison Bader. Towards first, off balance feed. There's one. Back to first for two. One little two. flare. God Another damn. In the books, but the perfect game couldn't survive. It's the Cardinals six, and the Giants nothing. New inning getting started. Now the third baseman, Nolan Arenado. First offering is fouled off. Would have been my second. Would have been my second on stream. God damn it. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Sends it to Flores. And they get Arenado for the out. Here's Nolan Gorman. And that one just misses. A ball and no strikes. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. He's been able to go inside as well as outside, effectively working both sides of the plate and miss it back. One down, base is empty. Ball. That's outside. Two and two. Two, two. Uh -huh. and, a miss. Uh -huh. and he got him. Two gone now. Well, that high four-seam fastball has become yeah. such a staple as a strikeout pitch over the years. And what's so tough as a hitter is that you see it extremely well. The problem is the velocity and spin rate just happens to jump by you. You expand your zone, you don't stay tall on the backside, and you're really not even able to make contact. If you do, many times it's a pop-up. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Around first, heading for two. And he's in there standing up with a two-out double. All over that one right there. Ripped that one down the line and kept it fair. And even when you hit it that far out front, you still have to keep your hands tight to your body so you don't hook around that baseball and put it in foul territory. And that right there was perfect. And on second, two down. Yeah, it's going over it. One more. As he was out front that time. Runner at second, two down. Here in the late stages of game three. That's all right. Just get this game over. We need nine outs. One hit, one left. And welcome back to the ballpark. Bottom of the seventh. Now it's the Giants' leadoff hitter. Tyro Estrada. Lined, and that's a base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Austin Slater, the next giant to hit. 
right through there for a strike. If you're going to get something going, this is the time to do it. You get the leadoff man on. Everybody's got to look over the shoulder and say, I'm just going to keep the line moving. Don't try to do too much. Next One, offering two. misses down and away. Seems like the hitters are struggling with their timing today. Kind of oh, caught in between three. that sharp fastball and the nasty slider. I'd like to see him settle on a consistent Nobody pitch. Number two, Jorge Soler, Jorge. the next giant to hit. No, the first man. offering is fouled off. At the belt and fire. This pitcher's done a good job of disrupting the hitter's timing with the mix of pitches and changing speeds. You want to keep that front foot inconsistent for the batter. Their swings are hesitant, and that's exactly what you want on the mound. Foul ball, it stays nothing in two. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. Picks up strikeout number seven. Oh, well, interesting. He's looking very comfortable out of the stretch after giving up the leadoff single. Back-to-back -back strikeout, so... They haven't been able to move that runner up, get him in the scoring position, and try to have a better chance of scoring. I tell you, good job so far on the mound. He just needs one more out. And another ball. The cards up big in this one. Here at the bottom of the seventh. The two-one is high. Three-two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitter's got to stay focused on the pitch. That's a fair ball down the right field line. Around third. He'll score. It's 6 1. Puts a run on the board and picks up an RBI. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy. Didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep. Took the barrel right to it and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. Rooker stands at second with two gone. Oh, they tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. Fights that one away, still one and two. Inside, almost got him. Gets a piece and stays alive. Next okay. offering upstairs. Eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. That one rips. <coughs> All right, he's done. Here comes the skipper, and we're going to see a pitching change in. Aroldis Chapman comes on now, and he's got a nice lead to work with, so he should come in throwing strikes, attacking these hitters. Now, here is Blake Sable in there at the knees. That's strike one. Breaking ball in there for a strike. Perhaps not quite ready to hit. First two pitches by him for a couple of strikes. Now back is against the wall. He's going to have to figure something out and figure it out quickly. Foul ball still, one and two count. Two outs and one in scoring position. This one in the air. Arenado snags it. <coughs> that is the inning. Two runs, three hits. Welcome back and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Number Tristan three. Beck. Tristan. Now at the plate, Wilson Contreras. This to third. God, it's floating. Just couldn't get my hands in far enough to drive it. And Contreras is retired. Really nice job to get your first out of the ball game. And digging in is the switch inning outfielder, Tommy Edmonds. Nah. We're just hacking now. Solaire getting an angle on it. <coughs> puts it away for the out. And a couple of quick outs. Here's the shortstop at the play. Mason Wynn. The shortstop takes the ball. One ball. No strike. Next pitch in for a strike. And it's one and one. Signs of movement in the Giants bullpen. Andrew Kittridge. Getting loose out there. Oh, this pitch rides in too far. That got him. Back to the leadoff spot in the St. Louis lineup. And here's the St. Louis leadoff man, Brendan Donovan. Well struck right field. And That'll get us another run. Around third. He will score. It's 7-2. to two. 
He was all over that one. He hit that ball really well to deep right field right there. Got a pitch to drive and just stayed through it nicely. Didn't quite have the trajectory to clear the fence, but you're always happy with an extra base hit. One run across in the frame so far, and we're in the top of the eighth. Into center, Bader sizing it up. Nabs it, and that is that. And we're back. Ready for the bottom of the eighth. Here's the third baseman, Matt Chapman. Hopped in the air, left field. Donovan makes the grab, one pitch and one out. Next to hit, Ezekiel Tovar. First oh, pitch, no. and he just misses. One Chapman, multi-time All-Star. He features a four-seam fastball, a slider, a two-seamer, and occasionally works in a splitter. Inside. That one misses, and it's 3-0. Base is empty one away in yep. the bottom half of the eighth inning. That was absolute gas. Triple digits on the gun. It's just Ooh. a different experience as a hitter watching that go Hold by. Down. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. Stays alive. And now the lefty knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Grinding A.B. right here, about to see pitch number 10, and that's a base hit. So he gets a hit after a long battle with the pitcher. But when you see that many pitches in it at bat, your chances of succeeding go up, and right there we see the result. Swing and a miss, 0-2. It might be time to choke up a little bit, get that front foot down early, maybe even just spread out. It's really late right now. What's up, Spectre? How you doing, man? Welcome, welcome. Now a chance for Tyro That one's in. You guys getting ready for uh, North Carolina, Miami tonight? Yeah, there's a ball. One ball, one strike. Tobar off the first with two away. Strike three on the fastball, and that ran back over the inner half. So the Giants leave one. They're down five. It's seven to two. We're now, back. It's the top yeah, nine. Most definitely, because neither one of us has played a human all year. <laughs> I've had three computer games, and he's had two. Where it is. Seems like a tough task today with the way this lineup is swinging it. And now, Nolan Arenado. Speaking of NWO. A 6-3 righty, 180 pounds. 7.30 Central Time tonight. Back in 2013. <laughs> and a pitch. And Ooh. a swing and a miss. Down Way out in front of that one. And a strikeout for the first out here in the ninth. Here's the second baseman, Nolan Gorman. A swing and a miss, and that's strike one. He's throwing frisbees up there, man. Left hand hitter waits. Base hit, center field. So a man aboard now with one away. And up next for St. Louis, Jordan Walker. Gets him to chase after that one. Yeah, swing of strikes, man. He had 13 hits, and I'm still swinging at shit. Swing and a miss. Knowing that the pitcher oh, wants a ground ball double play opportunity here, you've got to lay off pitches down in the zone. Right there, swinging at that pitch, that's a no-no. Man at first, one away. Grounder might be two. Tobar over to second, over to first. He's safe. Good sinker low in the zone right there and produced exactly what he was looking for. Ball on the ground, nice ground out. And now Lars Nukbar. Liner, base hit. 
Lead runner makes the turn at second. And that'll put runners at the corners with two away. And now the catcher comes up to him. Wilson Contreras. He's already homered here in this one. Way Whoa. inside, gets out of the way. Wouldn't Walking. chase that time. Could be some action here on this down. next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch. Come on. Come on. Runners on first and third. Two away. You're at the top of the ninth. Ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Run scores. We're killing him with these little bleeders all day today. A little flare, a little bleeder, a little pop fly. Then we hit one over the fence, hit one off the fence. Stepping in, Tommy Edmonds. And the first pitch misses for ball one. One ball, no strike. Best part is we're not doing it like all in one inning. We're spreading it out. Tack on runs. <sighs> they have a lefty, Harrison, going in the next game. And we have Mats. Shit. It'll be a bullpen game because I don't trust Mats. I hate pitching with Mats. So bottom of the ninth and dig. And now they turn to Giovanni Gallegos. Compared to some days, this is a pretty low leverage appearance for him. So he should be fairly free and easy out there. Still have to keep yourself sharp and attack the strike zone. Brown ball to the right side. And that's just foul. Here comes the pitch. And right back to the mound. And the leadoff man retired here in the ninth. These two outs away. Jorge Soler, the next giant to hit. In there, and it's 0-1. Gallegos, he's got some good and some bad. The positive is he doesn't walk very many guys. But, Chris, the problem is that he is prone to giving up some homers. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. Now only one out remaining. So the bullpen doing a nice job backing up the effort from their starter. Yeah, we've seen some pretty excellent pitching out of this staff so far. I mean, they've come in ready to do their job and get out. They've been pretty tough to get to in this one. Well, a manager can see it pretty early just by the swings that up the middle. And that squirts through. So he gets on base and keeps it going. Here's the first baseman, Wilmer Flores. Long drive, face hit. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. And up next for the Giants, Blake Sable. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Slapped foul. First and second, two down. We're in the last half of the ninth inning. Swung on, belted. That one back there hits the fence. The run comes in from second, and it's 8-3. And, and he's up. out by a mile. <laughs> All right, we'll give up one run to get this game over with. All right. Yeah, I changed my uh, title now because it's 2-1. to one. But they were able to settle things down, come out and play really good baseball in this one. They get the win, and the series continues. Who knows? Maybe they'll get right back in it. Well, we had a perfect game through five. Two, three, four, five, six extra base hits. All right. Two lefties going in this game. And the Dodgers sweep Arizona. So we win this series. We got to take on the Dodgers. Mats and Snell. I thought it was Harrison. Harrison's that game. Snell. Still, two lefties. All right. We 
You're not playing in rain. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. Got Gorman DHing. Oh, well. I needed to fix my left handed lineup and not have Walker play the outfield. Tommy Edmund at the plate. As he turns on the rubber. Snell has poor walks per nine, too. Look at that. 29 on his walks per nine. <laughs> his only saving grace, he has like 98 pitching clutch. The pitch. On a line out towards center. Bader makes the grab one down. And now it's Josh Naylor. Right. Strike. Snell. A multi Cy Young Award winner. He features a four seam fastball, a curve, a changeup, and he works in a slider. Thumb slipped off the uh, controller. Just a really nice slider down and in there. He wants to get the hitter thinking fastball, speed him up, and just subtract some velocity and add a little movement. <laughs> One down, base is empty. Slider misses outside. And now two and two. A wide kick to pitch. Up and in. And it's a full count. One out, base is empty. I was late. Looking off speed. Look at the pitcher here in the first inning isn't a bad thing. I know he struck out, but you can live with that as long as the other hitters in this lineup can learn something from it. Now here is Jordan Walker. That's the ball. Just missed. Next offering is in for a strike. Couldn't do anything with that pitch. Pitch. Rip to third. Sends it across the first. St. <clears throat> Louis goes down in order. Redford. Back here at Oracle Park. And getting the start. Steven Matz. What's the word on him? He really relies on working down in the zone with that heavy sinker he's got. You know, it's not as popular to throw that pitch uh, today as it used to be because. Well, guys are looking to hit balls down in the zone, get them up in the air. It's very important for him when facing same side hitters to be able to get it in, especially early in the count, and to opposite guys be able to throw it at that front hip and run it over the inside corner. Back to the mound. He's got it. Throws the first. Here tonight, an efficient start to the home first. Two away. Jorge Soler nope, in now. Ball. Takes ball one off the plate. Into the pitch. Check swing. No appeal. Two and one. Two balls. Wow, that was not a swing. That wasn't a cold strike. Right yeah. through there for a strike. And now the count filled up three and two. You got a full count. Hit hard, that gets through. And that keeps the inning alive. Well, maybe that will end up getting him going. Yeah, he really simplified there. He kept his shoulders square yeah. to the plate and wasn't trying to overswing. I think that's the key for him to have success through the one rest of this series. Strike. That one not close. And the count is one and one. The one one is fouled off. Two gone, but the go-ahead run is at first here in game four. <laughs> Swings and misses. That's the third out. Second inning set to go. Now it's going to be Nolan Gorman. Late on that it's tardy. Damn. Nothing like postseason baseball. No feel tardy. Every pitch seems bigger. It's truly special. Let's go. That misses the zone, and now it's even one and one. There really is a different feel to the postseason. I only got five games of postseason action in my playing career, but I oh. treasured each of them. And that's Two outside. And Swing and a miss. 
He was late. Strike two. He got yeah. away with one there, but he knows he can't go into that spot very often against a guy like this. And Down another ball. Two now. That one misses. So a leadoff walk. I don't think he really wanted to pitch to him right there, anyhow. Here's Nolan Arenado. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Gorman aboard here at first with nobody out. Way outside. Now 2 0. Wind's blowing out to right, not briskly, but it is blowing out to right. Yeah, no doubt about it, Boo. He's very straight. Didn't get enough of that one. Consistent back there, so most of the time, you're not going to think about it. That's a good thing. And out number one on the ground. Adam Duvall at the plate. Adam Duvall. First pitch misses. Blake Snell on the mound today, and everyone knows he's got a great shoe collection, but his trophy cabinet's pretty full as well. He's won multiple Cy Young awards, one in the American League with the Rays, and another in the National League with the Padres. Just missed that one. Just missed it. Wilson Contreras now up to the plate. Oof. <laughs> Tried to go out and hit that to right center field and This is going to be a sweaty game. to left fair ball around first and hustling for second will throw in and he's there with a lead off cover well patience and discipline paid off right there as he got into an advantage count they really turned on that one yeah. and as it hooked down the line it was hard to tell if it would oh, stay one. fair but he just barely sneaked in there line drive what makes the catch and there's one down And now Bader up to the plate. That's, That's down and in. Well, the best way to shake off yesterday's struggles is to get on the board no, early. They've got a guy in scoring position. They've got to find a way here to get him in. And there's a hit. They won't risk the send. Runners at the corners now with one away. Pretty good changeup on the outside corner, but he did exactly what you're supposed to do with that pitch. See it deep and keep your hands inside it to drive it the other way. And that's downstairs and outside. Ground ball left side. Down the line and it's foul. Oh, come on with this fucking weak ass shit. Second baseman, Brendan Donovan. Right back to him on the mound. Sends it to first. Leadoff hitter gone in the third. And stepping in for the Cardinals, Mason Wynn. There's a strike. Wynn. The 
was 5 feet 11 inches in a ninth in today's lineup. And he was a second round pick in 2020. Swing and a high fly ball to left. Slater makes the play, and there's two away. And here comes Tom. Yeah, Mason Wynn went in the second round of the same draft that we took Jordan Walker in the first. Shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. They're both high school players. Hard hit, right side. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. As we go to the last of the third, Tyro Estrada to the plate. Right through there, high strike. No ball, one strike. Next offering is in for a strike. Out towards right center field. Walker pulls it in on the run. Austin Slater stands in. Right side. And that chance handled. And they got it. Now back. Jorge Soler up at the plate. Jorge. Oh, what a catch. And that'll end the inning. Make a great catch like that. It... Game four of the division series. Here's Josh Naylor. Oh, he got all of that one. That's going to be off the wall. Not going to get out of here. Just missed by about two feet. Damn. Safe at second with nobody out, and he represents the, the Levi's sign. Run. First pitch swing in, went up there with a the plan to be aggressive. Anytime you smoke a ball off the wall, you kind of think about what it could have been, but obviously you have to be happy with that result. Walker in the box here, lets that one go for a ball. Can't strike out. We got to move the runner up. Top half of inning number four. No matter what. the other way, but foul. Well, here's a good opportunity in this inning to get on the scoreboard after that leadoff hit. And the order coming up right behind them. This is where they need to get going. Oh, he's trying to shoot that to right. Ooh, got a piece of that. Well, he knows they don't want to give him anything to hit, but when you've got opportunities to drive in runs, you've got to expand the zone. He's capable of going out there and doing damage with it. Damn it. Damn it. Well, obviously that was nowhere near the strike zone. By the time it got to the plate, people at home watching it thinking, what's he swinging at? But I'll tell you, some of the break guys snap off these days is just devastating. It can be so tough to recognize where a pitch like that's going to end up. Going swings through it for strike one. Outside. Not Too close much. with that one. It's two and one. Not really attacking on the mound in this at bat. All breaking balls. So that makes me think they're not really wanting to challenge him here. Swing and a miss. Two and two now. Cold night like tonight. Last thing you want to do as a hitter is get jammed or even off the end. Trying to find that sweet spot. Wow, what a pitch. Well, even if you don't feel great about it, you've got to swing the bat with two strikes in this situation. You've got the tying run out there in scoring position. Just put the ball in play. Maybe something good will happen. It just didn't look like he understood the situation. And a foul ball. No, dumbass. The pitcher made a great pitch. Kicks and fires. And Arenado's going to knock him in, and that's going to get by. Man, anybody else, that's a triple. Anybody else, that's a triple. <laughs> Even Contreras, that would have been a triple. All right, Nolan. He wants that playoff MVP trophy. Ooh, hung that shit and missed it. Oh, did it again. He's not throwing three straight curveballs. This has to be a fastball. 
He did. He's going to throw a four. We're looking fastball and adjusting. Yep. Nothing but curveballs. It's all right. Game's tied. Just haven't produced as many competitive at bats as I'd like to see in this one. They're swinging early, being aggressive, but one or two pitches later, the at bat is over. That's not going to cut it if it's not resulting in hits. So one. they might want to be a little more selective up there. The wind of the pitch. And that's, that's down it away. Here's an opportunity to do some damage and perhaps unlock this offense. 3 1 count. Be ready to turn on a All right. It's a leadoff walk. And that's the go-ahead run. Pretty easy walk Leave right there. Go. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. The first base base. Flores. Flores. Pitch low. Second trip to the plate in this one. Ground ball left Six, side could be four, two. There's one three. on the nailer. They get two. Got what he was looking for on the mound right there. And his infielders took care of business. Pretty textbook execution between yeah. short and second to turn that into two outs. Chapman. No, the next to hit takes ball one. Next offering is in for a strike. Fought off foul. Gotta keep him honest. Throw an occasional pitch up high. On the ground, right side. All right. Through four. Let's go, boys. We need some runs. What? Oh, I met my daily max of uh, XP. Fuck the San Diego Studios, man. You know, these cards, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. Chasing pitches has been a big part of the story. We've seen it mm. quite a bit today. It's been tough for them to make contact at times, and it just doesn't look like they're seeing it very well as a group. And on the mound, you know confidence has to be pretty high with all of the swings and misses. He's had them eaten out of the palm of his hand pretty much That's all game. Oh. That's inside. Now one and two. And That's another ball. ball. Two, two. The pitch. That Both one out. misses. And it's three and two. What makes him special is a lot of pitchers lose movement in their stuff the deeper they go into a game. But he's just different. You see plenty of break in his pitches, mm, even when he's just running a little missed low it. in the tank. Torres, under it, makes the grab one away. Now up for St. Louis, Brendan Donovan. Rounded out his first time. And that one fouled off. <sighs> we can come back and win this series. I will play the Dodgers tomorrow. Same bat time, same bat channel. Actually start a little bit earlier, right around 10 Central. One down, base is empty. Fights that one away. Bad the one. count remains 0 and 2. And no ball, ball one. Strike. Swing and a miss. Swung way over that pitch. Wouldn't even close. And two gone following the strikeout. Well, that's a curveball that people like to describe as a hammer or uncle to Charlie. You can see why. It's not a looping slow curve. He throws it hard, and it gets plenty of bite on the end. Digging in, Mason win. Two outs, base is empty. That one way inside. That's the third and foul ball. His stamina is getting low too. Two down, nobody on. Fouls one off. Two and two. Swing and a miss, and he chases that one in the dirt. That completes the strikeout inning over. Bottom of the inning, and digging in for San Francisco, Harrison Bader. Drive and that's a base 
aggressive and got something he could handle. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle, allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. And now Foul. a chance to maybe get creative on offense with good speed on first. All tied up. Last he swung. Ring him up. There we go. And yes, he did. He went around. Two and two. In the dirt. And the runner stays where he is. The pitch. In the air, right field. Calls it in, and there's one away. So up next, Ezekiel Tobar. In for a strike. Going along. Fade the runner at first with one gone to the end. Oh, God damn it. Face hit into right center. He wouldn't throw the fucking ball. I know he's going home. He wouldn't throw the ball. I'm spamming the button to throw it to the cutoff, man. He wouldn't throw the fucking ball. I'm done with Matt's. It's garbage, Spectre. Almost didn't get that out. This is an unintentional, intentional walk. I am not throwing him a strike. That was a bullshit fucking inning. And we're back. Top of the sixth inning. And here's the St. Louis leadoff man. Tommy Edmund. In the air out towards right center. Solaire getting an angle. Oh, Solaire can run shit down, but Walker can't. Solaire's worse defender than Walker. Josh Naylor. Next up for the Cardinals. And the first pitch misses for ball one. I'm about ready to knock the reaction on fielding for the CPU down. And they went out and made a trade for him last season. Slater sprinting. Flashes the leather on the running back. And that quickly two away. How the fuck do they get to those balls? That one misses. And that is ball one. Lefty fires. Down and two in, one. moved his feet. The Redbirds trailing by two, and we're at the top half of the sixth. Yeah. Swings and misses at the pitch off the plate. It really right. looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to Count one four. velocity and stay there. Outs 
side of that is ball four. It's tough after falling behind a hitter, two balls and no strikes, but now at least he gets a fresh start against a new batter, but he needs to get back into the strike zone and start pitching with conviction. Going now in the box. Your ball comes up empty with a swing there. Snap throw to first. And he's back standing. It's not going anywhere. Mm. It was a late decision to swing. She'll let it go. He's out of energy. They're bringing a right-handed pitcher. I'll pinch it with Newt Bar. Again. It's now a three, two ball. Staying in the game on defense. Large new ball. He'll be the new left fielder after entering the game as a pinch hitter. And now it's Wilmer Flores. That catches the outside corner. It's 0-1. Well, with both starters out of this ball game, it now becomes a battle of the bullpens and just seeing which manager can match up better and who's able to get to the finish line. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Righty delivers. That's hard hit on the line. Can't get their base hit. Ah, oh, his reaction sucks so much. Here's Matt Chapman. The third baseman. There's the strike. All these Giants, simply put, are producing a lot of quality swings. We've seen how many line drive base hits they've been able to produce in this one. Six to be exact, and they've all been pretty loud. Bounce to the left side. Come on with this bullshit. Throw back in quickly. Fucking Gold Glover can't field shit down the line. Just found a way to slap that. Nick Sandler on the pitch out of the pen here. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. Bader, the next to hit, takes outside. And a swing and a miss. Flores on second. Chap on at first with nobody out. And another ball. He was looking to come up with the shot. Double steal. And there's a foul ball. Right into the plate. Still two and two after the foul ball. Right-handed reliever. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Got him. He'll be beating himself up on the way back to the dugout. Got a pitch to hit and just couldn't get to it. I think that slider really caught way more of the plate than it was supposed to. Two away. Ezekiel Tovar digs in now. And a pop up right side. Way to go, Sandlin. Nice job. Thank you. Three to two. Back here at Oracle Park, top. 
top of inning number seven. And stepping in for the Cardinals, Wilson Contreras. And a pitch. In the air, right side. Soler gets under. Just missed it. One away. Here's the second baseman, Brendan Donovan. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. Holding on to a one-run lead late here in game four. Next pitch is downstairs. Looking to get the tying run on base. There we go. Another way, and it stays fair. And that rolls into the corner. And the tying runs at second base with a double. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Textbook bat control right there. Got a pitch on the outside, saw it deep into the zone, and just barreled it up, went the other way for the night. Now a pretty big attack coming off with a chance to oh even this ball game up. With the go-ahead run at the plate, here in the top half of inning number seven. Chasing. Going two now. Fouls it back with two strikes. Rips and misses. It's a strikeout. Fucking stupid swing. Slider wasn't even close to the strike zone, and he got him to chase. That's just a bad approach right there. Either he was looking for something else and got completely fooled, or he was sitting all over the slider and just couldn't resist the temptation. Got him in scoring position and don't get him in. That's never good. Francisco set for the last half of the seventh. Now it's the second baseman, Tyro Estrada, yeah. right through there for a strike. Yeah. Next offering is in for a strike. Right hander kicks deals. Foul ball still 0 and 2. Ground ball right side. Toss to Naylor, and Estrada is out. And now it's going to be Austin Slater. Rip to short. Toss to Naylor, two up, two down. Jorge Soler, the next giant to hit. Swing and a miss, strike one. 0-1. Oh Man, this has been a real important inning in relief. I mean, so far, they've been doing a great job holding that deficit at oh. one. That one almost got him. One and two. Two outs. Fights it off. You'll see another. Kicks and deals. He's desperately looking for that swing and miss. He's going to have to just change speeds a little bit, try to move it around. Ooh. <laughs> that was the pitch. Two down, nobody on. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Giants. All right. And a new arm on the mound to start the eight. Taylor Rogers. Well, the best relievers love the opportunity to come in and protect the tight lead late in the ball game. Some of them are just wired different, so we'll see what he's got here. Nail. Stands in here, leaves that one off the inside. In the air, left field down the line. No trouble here, puts it away for the out. One up, one down. Here's the left fielder, Jordan Walker. Delivers outside. And there is a strike. Good late sink on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good. And then by the time it gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the barrel to it. Fuck. Right over the plate and we miss it. Pitch. Fouls it off, 
still one and two. And now the lefty. That ball is foul, and the pressure is building. One down, base is empty. He fouls it off. He'll do it again. Also really good at that. What I like about this guy, his bat stays in the zone for a long time. Gives him the ability to foul off tough pitches. Got him swinging. So the bullpen doing a nice job backing up the effort from their starter. Yeah, we've seen some pretty excellent pitching out of this staff so far. I mean, they've come in ready to do their job and get out. They've been pretty tough to get to in this one. Stands in now and watches strike one. side edge one and, one and it's a ball to strike trying to hold a one run lead and we're at the top of the eighth hey what's up FG dude I'm struggling man um doesn't help when the the fielding this game is still broke as shit but welcome in man welcome welcome Yeah, I've been giving up way too many home runs, man. I don't understand. And then I forget what the count is. trying to keep this one close here and this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game that this is the zone ball wall the guy at the plate could recognize slider out of it now this ball is well hit this one's got a chance feeling for the wall as he makes the catch. got a job interview nice and up next for san francisco wilmer flores <laughs> and that clips the inside corner oh and one that one finds the corner. Oh, two Good minutes. luck with that. Base is empty one away. Here the bottom half of the eighth inning. Swing Country club, in that's even better. And he's down on strikes. And now two gone. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically he likes to shoot the ball the other way. But that time, a little anxious. Here is hey, man. Got to do what you got to do. Two outs. YouTube changes our algorithm and make it hard for... Uh, People to make money on their site. You just want to expand the zone right now. Get a swing and miss and get through this at bat. All right, we need one run at least. And we have Mr. Victor Scott on the bench ready to pinch run and steal base. Welcome back to the ballpark. And now here is Nolan. All right, Arnado Newt Bar. Arnado, Newbar, Contreras, Donovan, win. Arenado. Nolan gets on, we'll run for him. And he deals. <clears throat> and that one fouled off. Yellow free golf. Hits and misses. It's a strikeout. Well, that right there is what you want to see out of your closer. Come in and close the door. Cancel any hope that that opponent has in making some type of comeback in the ball game. Tell you what, that helps him settle in, and that helps everybody else relax a little bit to get these other two outs. Need Lars to get on base. Just amazing to me how many closers and back end relievers just throw absolute gas these days. I never would have had a chance. A little out front there as he swings through it. Inside almost got him.
Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. Left-hand batter waits. Full count. Down, base is empty. Swing and a chopper. Flores. They get the tag on him, and that's the second out. And up to hit is Wilson Contreras. Corner infielders guarding the lines, trying to prevent extra bases. Swing and a miss. Chased it out of the zone. Throwing one. One strike away. Would chase ball, that time. Strike. There we go. It's through for a hit. So the tie run reaches with two away. That's tremendous fight from him, man. I know it's got the dugout fired up down there, down to the last strike, and he comes up with a hit to keep the game alive. We got to steal. We got to get him in a scoring position. Safe. There we go. Tying runs at second. That's why we brought him up. Come on, Donnie. Find some grass. Tie this game up. Come on, buddy. Safely. Well, at least you got the pitcher thinking a little bit. You don't want to run yourself out of the ball game. You get thrown out or picked off. It's over. So the tying run at second. Oh, game over. I am so tempted to go scorched earth in the offseason and go fucking sign Gallon and Framber Valdez or trade for fucking Tatis. I am just. That's two years in a row we've lost in this round. Well, the off season will be tomorrow, guys. Dodgers and Giants to go to the World Series. Imagine that series. <laughs> All right. And Houston and Baltimore in the American League. Giants win the first game. They only won 88 games, by the way. Giants win the second game. Baltimore wins their first. Baltimore wins their second. Dodgers win. Houston wins. Dodgers win again. That one's 2-2. Baltimore's up 3-1. Giants are up 3-2. Baltimore wins. They beat Houston four games to one. And the Dodgers tie the Giants. We're going to a game seven in the NLCS. Dodgers and the Giants. Yamamoto and Harrison.
I want to watch the whole game. I just want to sim the game. So I've got to get into the game. All right, so... Yeah, but I don't want to watch the game. I don't want to watch the game. I want to quick sim the game, right? Manage the full game right here. All right, here we go. Well, wow, that was way too fast. There are a couple of home runs by the Giants there. Three nothing Giants. Take your base, ball four. Three run homer by Outman ties the game. Wow. Three. Three. Triple by Lux makes it five to three. Single makes it six to three. Home run by Chapman. Three. Three. Six five. Take your base, ball four. Seven to five. Two run homer, it's nine to five. Alright, where is he at? He's pitching change. They have May and Kershaw in the bullpen. Mm -hmm. Greater all. Nine to five. Triple, it's ten to five, eleven to five, thir uh, twelve to five. <laughs> All right, let's not take any chances and bring in their closer. Dodgers go to the World Series. <laughs> Kick their ass. They had four three run innings. <laughs> wow. All right. Dodgers and Orioles rematch of the 66 World Series. Here, let me save this before we fuck anything up. Do it this way. There we go. All right. Bradish and Otani. Just sim. Six to three. Game two. Five to one. Game three. Baltimore comes back. Baltimore with a shutout. Bradish. We're tied two games apiece. Wow, the Orioles win three, so now they go back to LA up three to two. Let's play ball. Take your base, ball four. Ball four, take your base. Ball four, take your base. Three. Take your base. Ball four. Ball four, take your base. Two nothing Dodgers. Ball four, take your base. Three. They got to win this game or the Orioles will win the series. Three. 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 Three nothing Dodgers. Three. Take your base. Ball four. Now pitching for Baltimore. Number 54. 
Who Mount Castle makes it three to two. Four to two. Six to two. Number forty six. Craig. Kimbrough. Now pitching for the Dodgers. Number forty eight. Bruto. Brotero. Game over. Going to a game seven. Here you go, boys. Glass now and Dean Kramer. <laughs> Play ball. Otani with an RBI. Bases loaded, two out, Santander. Grand slam! Oh, look at Baltimore. Wow. He's got two home runs in game seven, driven in all five. Wow. Now pitching for the Dodgers. Number 85. Now pitching for Baltimore. Number 68. Tyler. Now pitching for Baltimore. Number 78. All right, bottom of ninth. Bautista, one out. Two out. Orioles win the World Series. Anthony Santander with two home runs and five RBIs in Game 7. Wow. I'm looking at our hitting. Walker didn't perform well. Gorman didn't win. I mean, we had multiple guys home runs, but one for Arenado, we'd have been hosed. Yeah, Matt's fucking bullpen. Retired players. Mad Max retired. Here, let me move my face out of the way. Max retired. We tried to get him his World Series before he left, but couldn't do it with his hometown team. Ronel Blanco retired? Really? Guriel? Stripling? Alex Wood? Strasburg finally retires. Kyle Hendricks? Elvis Andrews? You Darvish? Nobody retired because they were injured. Matt Carpenter, Alex Cobb, Brandon Crawford. Nobody made it to the Hall of Fame. And I need a hitting coach. Let's go look at that right away. Should always go for more than one guy. So here are our exclusive free agents. We are not bringing any of these guys back. None of them. Fuck Mats, I'll get better. Duvall's regressing heavily. Merrifield's regressing. Gallegos, um, I can probably bring him back or get somebody else. He is 34. Chapman's regressing. Um... Arnado's going down a little bit. Tommy Edmond, 
He went up 10 in his contact against lefties this year. He's regressing against righties. Naylor's gone up. Look at Jordan Walker. Plus 13 in contact against lefties. Gorman regressed a little on his contact against lefties. Mason Wynn plus 12 in his power. I mean, he did hit 22 home runs. Donovan goes up 11 on his contact against lefties. Newt Bar's going down a little. Gray's regressing. He did have an ERA over four. And we have him for this one year. FG, I could trade him and sign Gallon and um, what's-his-face. It would be about the same. Tanner Bybee's going up. Contreras going down a little bit. It's kind of a mixed bag. Romano's fine. JoJo's good. Walker's good. Sandlin's good. Duvall's going away. Henry Davis, not bad. Painter's going up. He'll be in contention for the uh, fifth spot in the rotation. It's JC. He's knocking on the door. He'll be up soon. If not this year, next. Barlow. Merrifield's gone. Reyes, I think he's getting close to his potential. So he'll probably, he could come up and replace Giovanni. Ramirez, we just picked up as a bench bat. We could keep him around and we can trade him off. Victor Scott is okay. He's not ready yet. Cutliff, that was our first first round pick. So got to work on those per nines. He's still a couple of years away at least. Tink, he's possible contender for the fifth spot. Lindsay could be a contender for the fifth spot. Aurelis. Roby, he's getting closer. Elijah, he's still got a ways to go. Yerpy, ways to go. So, it is what it is. Um, Budget-wise, we have $92 million to spend. So, I can easily go sign Gallon and Framber Valdez. Easily. And if I sign those two, I'll trade Sonny away. I'm not going to have him in his $25 million. I would just shift that over to Gallon. That would give us Gallon, Bueller, Bybee, um, that lefty pitcher. I'm drawing a blank on his name. Um, and um, one of our young guys is the fifth spot. We can just rotate those guys in and out. So we're not paying. Look at Bybee's only making 2.7. Wynn's making 2.6. Um Donovan's making three, Walker three, Gorman three, Sandlin three. No one's making any money on this team. That's why we have $92 million to spend. And in two years, Arnado would be gone. <laughs> so, you know, we're going to have to eventually pay some of these guys down here, but that's okay. So, anyway, that's where we are there. And GM goals won 101 games. Second year in a row we've lost in the NLDS. That is not acceptable. So, yeah, we got to replace that hitting coach. Not too many guys on the train block right now. All right, I'm going to end it right here. We will. Uh, we will be back tomorrow for the complete off season. So it won't be. We, I, I'm just going to say there's going to be no gameplay. There may be gameplay. We may get through the offseason quick enough. We'll go into spring training, and whichever pitchers I put on the 40-man roster will uh, pitch with them in spring training, but we're not going to – we'll just player lock on the pitchers and pitch with them until they're out of the game so we can see how they pitch um, because our lineup is pretty much set. We just need to backfill our bench because all those guys are regressing in old, so that's what our deal is. Tomorrow is to fix the bench, to fix the rotation, because it's still not done. Get a couple of bullpen arms, and then we'll do some spring training with the pitchers. Um, see how that goes. But anyway, thank you guys for uh, hanging out with me today, even though I didn't play my best. Again, go click that link. Go follow. We have a head-to-head uh, -head user League on NCA 14, and we got a big game tonight between Revamp TV's Miami Hurricanes, four-time league champion, 
going up against my North Carolina Tar Heels. I'm ranked, I think, 17th in the poll. And uh, it'll be interesting because he hasn't played any humans yet this year, and I haven't either. So it'll be our first game user to user. So come check us out. That'll be 7.30 Central Time on that link. So click it, go, come back, watch us. It's a good time. And uh, who can we go raid? Who is out here? We got Man Cave. We got Manny Jones. If you guys want to do MLB, we could do Tight Spot. We can do Manny Jones. Or we could go in CAA and do Man Cave. What do you guys want to do? Let me know in the chat what you feel like doing. And um, very disappointed, man. We we Our team crushed it this year, and I let us down playing. So I got to get better. Anyway. No one say anything. All right, we'll just go to Manny. We'll go MLB with Manny. So let's get that raid up. I don't like the new raid channel thing. I, I think it's stupid. So anyway, I'm going to get this raid ready to go. And when you guys are ready, we'll head on over there. In the meantime, I'll give you the uh, thanks for watching screen and I'll... See you guys uh, over at Manny's and then tonight for NWO. So you guys take care. Appreciate you guys, and I will see you later. Mm -hmm.